Hi, my name is Jesse Mwai. I am a pastor with Christ is Yansa Ministries, and I want to thank you for joining me in this particular broadcast. I want to speak to us and challenge us on what I have entitled a staff, a harp, and a javelin. And my context, the story that we are going to be using, is the story of King David and King Saul. A staff, a harp, and a javelin. Let's begin from the very beginning. When you consider the story, of course, taken from the book of 1 Samuel, and of course, 2 Samuel, the story of King David and King Saul. King Saul was the first king over the nation of Israel. If you remember the story, the children of Israel, the nation of Israel had come and cried to Samuel at that time, and they said they wanted to be like other nations. And therefore they demanded for a king to rule over them, just like any other nation. And God gives them a man by the name of Saul. The Bible says and describes Saul as a man who had an impressive posture. His physique was impressive. He was head and shoulders above all other men around him. He had the physique of a leader. And when people saw him, they embraced him because now they had their own king. But of course, you know that later God rejected King Saul because he was a man who had a stubborn heart. He did not have a heart after God. And God raised for himself somebody else, another man who God describes and says, I have found myself a man after my own heart. And that was David. And he calls David while he was still a young man tending his father's sheep. One of the things that is so characteristic about David that is very different from Saul is that at the very beginning, when we're introduced to David in the Bible, it is within the context of him being a shepherd, a young boy looking and tending his father's sheep out in the wilderness. Unlike his brothers who are in the military, they were impressive, but David is almost like an outcast out in the wilderness. Saul, on the other hand, when we're introduced to him, he is looking for his father's lost donkeys. And that in itself gives us a clue as to the, the, the stature of these two men, these two leaders. David was a man who was after God's own heart. One reason because God prepared him. Be uh, David was a shepherd looking after sheep. Now you have to understand that the word of God likens us as God's people, it likens us to sheep. The analogy, the picture that is used over and over again in the Bible is that you and I as God's people are sheep. In fact, the Bible says in Isaiah that we all like sheep have actually gone astray. In God's economy, you and I are sheep. Sheep are not very clever animals. Sheep tend to be very humble, very, very meek and very docile. And God desires that his people would be dependent upon him just like sheep are dependent on the shepherd. So David, from the very beginning, was a man who developed a shepherd's heart. A staff was in the hands of a shepherd. What is a staff? A shepherd's staff was that instrument that a shepherd would use to guide the sheep, to protect the sheep from danger. In fact, a staff was so sometimes would be so fashioned that it would be carved on one end so that even when the sheep probably fell in a ditch or a hole somewhere in the wilderness, that the shepherd will be able to scoop it up, be able to hook it up and pull it out of danger. A, a, a staff was an instrument of guidance, an instrument of protection. Uh, David, if there was a man who understood the relationship between God and his people, and he himself being a shepherd, he says, and he wrote Psalm 23, that that uh, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In fact, he says, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. So at the very center of David's life was a staff. He himself recognized that he was a sheep and that his Jehovah was his shepherd. But he himself also became a shepherd to God's people. God prepared him to become a shepherd. I have discovered that if you're going to be useful in God's hands, if God is going to use you for his kingdom and for his glory, you must have a staff at the very center of your life. On the one hand, are you a sheep? Do you have the disposition of a sheep? Or are you trying to run your own life, run your own affairs? Are you somebody who is given to being stubborn? 
You will not take instructions from anybody. You will not listen to the voice of God. You cannot be tamed and you always want to do your own thing at your own time. Or are you somebody who has developed a posture and a disposition of a sheep and you're always desiring to hear from your shepherd? See, God has placed uh, us within certain places, certain contexts where he has put certain people around us and above us, people to shepherd us. Ultimately, he is the chief shepherd. But you and I must have a heart. At the very center of that heart is a staff. Do you have a staff? in your life? Is there a staff in your heart? Is there a staff in the way that you think? Is there a staff in your heart in how you think, in how you conduct your affairs? When you, when you come to a place of making decisions, is there a staff? Are you somebody that can be guided, that can be led? I tell you this, the Bible says in Isaiah that all we like sheep have gone astray. If you are somebody who does not have the disposition of a sheep, I can tell you one thing you'll find yourself in a lot of trouble. Some of you probably even as you're listening to me, maybe you're in a place in your life where there has been difficulty, you have made some really bad decisions, uh, maybe you have entrapped yourself in certain situations, but when you really, really, if you are to be honest, you know it's because you have been stubborn. You have not been a sheep, you have not carried yourself with that disposition of a sheep. Well. God still wants you to welcome you back to his fold. He still de desires to be your shepherd. He still desires to guide your life, to lead you. He, he still desires to be your shepherd, the shepherd of your soul. Or maybe you're there, you're saying, I want to be used of God. I want him to use me for his own glory. Then you must have this disposition of a sheep. Do not be wise in your own ways. Do not lean on the arm of the flesh. Do not try to make it on your own. Become dependent like a sheep depends on the shepherd. A staff, a harp, and a javelin. Can we continue this conversation in our next episode? May the Lord bless you even as you put into consideration some of the things that we have just shared. Again, my name is Jesse Mwai. Please get in touch with us. Let's hear from you. Let's hear your thoughts, your prayer items. You can get in touch with us through Facebook or other social media platforms. We are on Instagram and even on Twitter. And may the Lord bless you until our next podcast.